That is a ball what's old, crappy, rock hard. Now that is stopped dead. Golf mates, welcome down to Oxfordshire, to this place, Heathrop Park. Are you ready? Gonna play a few holes, very different. I've got myself some B51s XTC. Tour wound, Slazinger. These are rock solid. If I could chuck this at this rock here, this rock would split in half. But does it make any difference? There's only one way to find out. No, Joe, if you can come round little slow, look at this for a hole. Part four, we're going to play it off the whites. Tee box here, hole there, big trees, as you can see there. So I'm thinking, free would a driver, blast it at them corpses up there, the small ones, chip on, make a birdie, be 100 gross, then so on and so on. Now I've done this video many a times about it doesn't matter what golf ball you use. Personally, I like soft ones, I do. But does it make any difference? Hand and heart, probably not. Now, in the UK now, we're coming to autumn, so everywhere's a bit wet, a bit wet. This course is a bit unclear, so it will be damp. So I think it doesn't matter what you use. Well, there's only way, one way to find out. Go in my free wood. Now, we need a nice name for this free wood. I'm going to call it Will It Work, but I don't think that's a great nickname, Will It Work. But you never know. And what I'm doing now, if you're just wondering, I'm looking on the floor. Found one. For a tea, I like my white teas. So, free wood in hand. I need a nickname off you, because I don't think, will it work? Work for the, oh see, so that bunker on the right, left of there is a nice line, it should be a little flick in. If Joe zooms in now for all them trees, you'll see the green. Now I'm not zapped it there, I had a look, if you can carry it. But I'm not having a go, because I'm a lot more sensible than that. That's why I'm gonna rate, will it work? My free wood. Hover, hover, and hit. Look at this bad boy, it's got a little draw as well. That's got to be position here. I mean, if I could go down there and put it on the spot, I'd probably put it there. I might call it flushed. 70 yards golf mates. Now I've got my eight iron and my gap wedge because I know for a fact I'm not going to get spin, but does it matter? I think it's just an eight iron and run it to be fair. No, gap wedge, I, it might need a bit of distance this. 70 yards. Ball above the feet, right of that pin and it should kick left, I hope. Right, that is a ball what's old, crappy, rock hard. Now that is stopped dead. Because it doesn't matter what you play in this type of environment, because the greens are a little bit moist, it stopped. No then, no then, free wood. You know what's coming, don't you? They say corona time, but I'm saying birdie time. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's a little bit further than a four. It might be a four-footer. But what an all this is, eh? Proper risk and reward. I think driver there and it runs down with a bit of draw. There's no way you can fly it and hold the green. No way. So they were a little bit further, didn't I? But the B51 is going to come out to play. It looks left to right. But it's not that much. I want a four. Slazinger, Mr. Harrison playing with a Slazinger. Oh, do you know what I did then? I did the old, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the commentator's walk for pick it up. And a comment, I can't get up, a comment did say, Liam, you cause some force and all that, try and walk it in. That's why some of your pots have not gone in. I mean, I don't believe that. I just didn't hit it hard enough. All right, we're on the backs again. Four, two, four. Just pop it down. And what you see is uh, 
don't go right because you've got this water great feature but it is a case of uh, not flipping my hand and getting it round and all that jazz hover back to a good drive because that was a great three wood and I've gone really high and straight that is what you call a nine wood if I do that with my new driver I'll uh, I'll mark it, but this thing, it don't matter. There'll be a giveaway soon. If anyone wants this piece of crap, just comment, piece of crap, you can have it. Right, it's a bit of embarrassment, but I've got 200 yards, you know, because that went about 150 yards up in the hill. So, it is lift clean in place. I've got clay all over my ball. Oh God, and I'm in a hanging lie. It's fairway, it's a bit ropey. It's just clay, it's all built on clay, right. Ron seal, still mud on it. Hover, me baby. So this should squirt left to right, so I'm gonna aim a bit left. Yeah, it's done it. We said that, didn't we? Not an hard shot, I mean, sorry, very hard shot that. Up and down, this should run out now because it's not going to check up. Nice low eight iron. Look at that big thing. I think it's an albatross in England. I don't think you've seen an albatross in that on our channel. And to be fair, I don't think you're ever going to see one. So we've got a little nestle ball here. Rock hard. Heart tee shot. Well, no, it weren't. It was a terrible tee shot with my new driver, which is a 16 wood. And then it's a terrible, but it was a hard shot four iron and now i've got this about 70 yards well about 50 yards 60 but it needs hit because it's settled down oh chicken and rice hold that a bit is it going to sit oh it's only just got over wow but but did you see that and, and, and this is what i was saying it sat down out of the rough that sat down I might be right about the balls, it don't, I want you to swing like that, I could play with a medicine ball, it don't really matter, does it? Let's get me this putter, what's not working, this is going to now, honestly. I'm, I'm not blaming the putter, but I think when you fall in love, fall out of love with something, you've got to just be honest and thinking, right, will a putting lesson help me? Will a bit of practice help me? Or have I just fell out of love with it? And as a golfer, I'm going to blame the club, and obviously I'm not going to blame me. I mean, I mine it up and I'm going to try and be super confident. It's the name of the game. Visualise it. Visualise it. It's not a bad effort, is it? Come on, that were a birdie putt. But it weren't, was it? It was a par putt, a bogey. I'm one over with these now. Ah, what all have we got next? I mean, it wants a clean, but. There's no scuffs marks on it. You probably could use this, if you didn't lose it, you could use this for about 30 years, because it's probably about 30 year old now. Not a blemish. Unlike my paint jobs from years ago. Right, golf mates, I'm gonna hit my three wood again. One over, should be level, should have made that birdie putt. And uh, I can't find any tees. Might have to do the old Laura Davis trick. Just give it a little, like that, I think they do. I think that's right. Oh, it looks it, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I think it's a, a slight dog leg right. Looks straightforward enough. So same again, golf mates. Hover and hit at that marker. It's drawing, it's drawing to that tree. Oh, it's gives it a right wallop. Mm. Right, golf mates, I've had a little look, but I've got 180 into the wind, but I've got this tree to thank. We've seen a few apple trees, but that's definitely not an apple tree. Uh, 
Four iron. Four iron. The fairways are mint. Some are different. Some are like on clay. They're a bit dodgy, but this one's fine as dandy. Four iron. 180 into a little bit left to right. And now look at that, I've finned that, and I tell you what, this... I'm going to see it. I have been playing well, right? And I'm embarrassed. I've hit a tree going left, and it's come out in the fairway. I've finned the tits at that four iron, and I've got a birdie putt. So when you're playing bad, sometimes you have the rub of the green. Uh, sorry, when you're playing good, sometimes you have the rub of the green. And obviously, I've been playing all right, and I've definitely got the rub of the green here because that's two of the worst shots you'll ever see. And I've got a putt for Bert. I remember I haven't been bad. I've never got my putter because I thought I'd be short. <laughs> I am cheeky. No, I am going to take a par here. But the way it's gone, it'll probably go in. So that's like a manor house. That looks great though. I don't think it's a hole. Right. Come on, a little bit left. Oh, unjust. There is just no justice in the world. That deserved a birdie all day long. It deserved a birdie. What can I say? One over three holes, but it weren't really. I mean, we meant to be talking about this, but uh, what can I say? Old golf ball. It's not done no different whatsoever than any other golf ball. Would I play with it every week? No. Will it make any difference though? No, but it's just me of choice. I'm vain. That's why I've got earl wax and everything. Right, I hope you liked the video. Hope it made sense. I know what the comments are going to be saying. Liam, you've gone back playing crap, but you're a stuffy bleeder. 